Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of One Meal a Day Modified. And this is my meal for today. I will add a caveat, if I become hungry, I will have some yogurt. But I don't think that will happen. These mushrooms are huge. They're um, Portabella Giant Mushrooms. And I will give you an example of how large they are. This is a pint size bottle of hot sauce. And you can see in relationship to this mushroom how large they are. Yep, that one's a little smaller. Um, so what did I stuff them with? Plenty of veg and protein, I'd like to say. So what I put in these, and I'll give you a really good close-up here. I actually used some ground turkey. Um, in that turkey, I put a very various spices. I mean, if you want me to do a video on the recipe, I will. It's really good. It's really easy, but it packs a big punch, and it looks as if you worked all day. So um, the, besides a ground um, turkey and spices, I added some onion, some garlic, a little bit of bell pepper. You know me and my bell pepper. I also added some broccoli and cauliflower, just the top part of it, um, because obviously... That's what you see a lot of that green and some of the white in there is from the broccoli and the cauliflower. Also, um, I added a little bit of the ribbing from the mushrooms. So you don't need to waste that rib. You do want to make sure you wash your mushrooms really well, throw away the stem. And then what I did is I had a vegetable um, dish that I made yesterday because yesterday was my vegan day. Um, like I told you on occasion, we do have a vegan day or two. Why? Because usually I have a lot of fruits or veg that I want to use before it goes bad. And it's also not a bad idea. I mean, I'm not, you know, um, against veganism at all. I'm also not against, um, you know, people who are omnivores because that's what I am. Um, I kind of don't like the idea of just being a carnivore or just being a vegan. I think you're missing out on many nutrients that you need if you just go one way or the other. So I believe we are meant to be kind of in the middle. Um, so what I did anyway with the veg that I had from my vegetarian um, meal yesterday is I put that on the, like, as my first layer of the mushroom. Then, after mixing everything together, I cooked my topping in the oven, made sure it was well done because I am using poultry, and then I layered that on top. Then I put everything back into the oven, and this is what I have. Now, for those who like gravy, you can put a gravy on this. You can side, serve this with a side of um, cranberry sauce, which is one of my favorite ways to do it, but I don't have any cranberry sauce in the house right now. But as you can see, I'm having an au jus pear. Of course, I'm having a, a raw pepper. Always, of course, yeah. And I didn't finish this pepper yesterday, so I'm having the rest today. And that's my meal for the day. Um, so one of the things I want to discuss today, and I'm going to try to do this quickly and let this video not go on for any more than, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, is what are the top nine diet myths? Um, so let's just get right into it. So one myth number one is all calories are created equal. Come on. All calories are definitely not created equal. The calories that you get out of that little Debbie snack cake are totally different than what you would get out of this beautiful pineapple and lemongrass. And yes, I am sprouting some onion. Totally different. So no, all calories are not created equal. 
um, look at the quality of the food you're eating and decide if you want those calories or if you want something that's healthier. Number two, you can eat anything you want, exercise, and lose weight. Okay, for some people that might work, but that is a temporary solution. It is not something someone can maintain for life also. If you eat just anything, just because the weight on the scale might be where you want it or low does not mean you're healthy inside. You can still have diabetes, heart disease, liver issues, as well as other ailments and illnesses and diseases if you're not careful. Sugar is bad. That's my myth number three. Okay, sugar is bad if it's refined by human beings and manipulated or if it's an artificial sweetener but if it's something that's natural like what's going to come out of this beautiful pear that is not bad I mean we need sugars in our body for there's a purpose you just have to be aware once again of what type of sugar you are con you're consuming carbs are horrible that's another myth we need complex carbohydrates um, in order to maintain really good health. Um, for people who try to cut out carbs, it's really difficult. There's carbs and things that you wouldn't imagine. Like some people just don't know that there are carbs in this jalapeno. Dear jalapeno, why do you have carbs? Because I'm supposed to. Get over yourself. Exactly. Mushroom, oh my God, are you carb-centric as well? Hell yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. You just have to be aware, once again, of where your carbohydrates are coming from. If they're coming from chips, cakes, cookies, you know, things that you know are obvious. You know, you're going to McDonald's, you're going to the Burger King, the Pizza House. You know, those are places where your carbs are definitely going to be out of whack and not as healthy Unless at the pizza house, you order, let's say, the house salad and you use a vinaigrette dressing. Like there are healthy options at certain eateries and that's going to be a future video that I do, I create for you. But um, yes, it depends upon where those carbs are coming from. Another myth, fat sucks. Okay, if you need liposuction, fat sucks sucks like literally it's getting sucked out but if you are talking about any type of fat that is completely a falsehood there are healthy fats that our bodies need that you can get from things such as nuts avocados and certain oils olive oil being the most popular but there are flaxseed oils and other healthy oils as well um, all fats are not bad. I even argue the fact that a little bit of animal fat is not the worst thing for you. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about or if you agree or don't agree and why. Salt isn't necessary. Okay, so Salt is, especially if you're buying pre-made foods, whether they're frozen, whether you get them from a restaurant, um, or in the middle of your grocery store where everything is pre-packaged, yeah, those salts are probably not as good because you're getting a lot more sodium in your system than is required, necessary, even recommended. But if you are making your own, like I did here, I made my own meal, I know exactly how much salt is in here because nothing I used as an ingredient had salt in it because everything I used as an ingredient was fresh. So, you know, you need, to, and also iodine is important for our diet and our cellular structure and other things within our bodies. So, you know, if you use salt, you know, using an iodized salt is something that actually is a health positive for you. Here's another myth. Diet products are good for you because they help you lose weight. Look at all those testimonials. Come on. It's a 
multi-billion, probably trillion dollar industry, if someone could come up with a fad, a gadget, a pill, a beverage, a whatever it is, you know, even let's say this pen, they could probably trick people easily because people are easily, I don't know, manipulated into believing anything easy without doing the work. Not all people, because I'm not one of those people, and I'm hoping you're not one of those people, but no, you know, these diet products, the fads, the gadgets, the join this group, pay $9.99 a month, come into our clinic, let us weigh you. That's a bunch of bull crap. If you have medical insurance, any type of medical insurance, especially if it's um, geared towards preventative care, you can get all of the services you need through your medical provider without paying any additional monies unless you have a copay. But even paying a copay is going to be less expensive than the junk that will pile up in your pantry, in your medicine cabinets, or wherever in your home gym that you never use. But it's awesome for the dog to lay on and magazines to be stored on. We actually went to um, an estate sale recently and all of the stuffed animals were in bins on the treadmill. The lady said they hadn't been moved in like 15 years. I thought that was ironic and hilarious. But yeah, do not believe the hype. Save your money. Make yourself rich by investing that money, even just by putting it into a savings or bank account, even though the interest rates suck in the United States royal because, you know, they just do. I'll try not to get political. Um, it's better than you spending it on a bunch of crap that is not going to work. You need to get up and do the work and change your diet if you want to lose or maintain a healthy body. Okay, you don't want to lose your body, but you want to lose weight. But at the end of the day, I'm more about maintaining a healthy body and the rest will follow. Next myth, eating out is unhealthy. Like I said, I'm going to do a video on this. Eating out is not unhealthy. Your choices are unhealthy. So if you make the right choices while you're out in the world, out in the wild, then you can eat just as healthily as you do at home. You know, the thing is, yeah, there will be some instructions to the kitchen, no oil and no salt, please and then you'll add your own little sprinkle of salt, you know, or it depends, you know, are you choosing um, Hooters chicken wings over wing stop chicken wings? One is healthier than the other, not to say either is super healthy, but there is a choice that's better than the other. So it's about choices that are unhealthy. My last myth is, are you ready? Drum roll, you want to guess? I'll give you two seconds. Nope, probably not that. Maybe that. Did you, are you almost, okay, I'll just tell you what it is. Metabolisms are the same. So there are people who are like, oh, you know, why is it that he can eat everything or she doesn't eat anything and she gains all this weight or, you know, he's tall and he's short and of course the fat to the skinny or the muscular six pack to the you know person who is average or healthy weight but they don't have like the muscle definition the reason why is everyone's metabolism is different we're all different inside okay as pink would say that's one of my favorite musical artists we're all pink on the inside, we are, but in our cellular structure, our DNA, there are things that, you know, we've inherited. There are things that, you know, just make us different environmentally. Like if you have a more physical job versus one where you are sitting at a desk all day, um, or if you are a fitness instructor versus, let's say, a carpenter. Like your body types are just going to be different. And if you, you know, eat a diet rich in, you know, certain foods 
or lacking in others, that also makes a difference. So, you know, metabolically, we are all different. We will process things through our body at different paces, and that's okay. The secret is finding out what's right for you. And to do that, you need to, once again, consult your medical professionals, you know, not someone who's at a, you know, walk-up clinic, but, you know, your actual real professional doctors and or, you know, whoever it is you go see for your, if you broke your leg, you know, or if you had a serious belly issue or something, or you had a lump on the side of the neck. You wouldn't just go see someone, you know, that had diet centers across their um, buildings awning. You would actually go see someone who was a serious person who actually knew and was trained in the area of study that you need, which would help you, you know, to gain a healthier body, a happier mind, and also it is easier than you think. You know, will you have cravings? Of course, you're human. And plus, there's so many messages thrown at you. But will you get up off that couch and go for a walk? I don't care if you have to walk around inside your house. I remember when my grandmother was like, I believe, 90. And she was like, you know, granddaughter, you know, sometimes I just don't want to go outside. But every day I make sure I get up and I walk back and forth, up and down the length of this house um, several times to keep myself moving because if you stop moving, eventually you just die. So thank you for tuning in today and remember that health is wealth. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe.